the turquoise sea beckons with the promise of an invigorating plunge. A dream destination for tourists, teeming with marine wildlife at home on its shores. Curaçao is an island paradise, but it's under threat. The former Dutch colony, located off the coast of Venezuela, is feeling the impact of climate change and pollution. But these locals are taking action. Julieta is fearless when it comes to saving animals, a mission she shares with Odette and her emissary for conservation, Bob the Flamingo. It's a far cry from the picture-perfect tourist snapshot. A thick mat of sargassum seaweed blankets the bay on Curaçao's east coast. Sea turtles trapped in the algae fight for their lives. And this group is fighting to save them. The alarm sounded early this morning. Boom, I get this call. Julieta, we need you. Come. Julieta is 14 years old and volunteers for a sea turtle conservancy. Without flinching, she wades into the tossing waves with team leader Ard. The sea turtle species found here are endangered. The team is committed to saving as many as it can. Across the bay, turtles can be seen bobbing in the thicket of algae, losing strength with every passing hour. But from the water, they're virtually impossible to locate. They're also not easy to rescue. Algaes are so uncomfortable. It actually hurts when they hit you. It smells very bad. And you can't hear anything, the water, just everywhere. It's very stressful. The island has never seen a sargassum infestation like this. Warming oceans are fueling algae growth, as are fertilizers flushed into the sea from Brazil. The turtles come up for air and get entangled in the bloom. Without help, they perish in the heat. Every rescued turtle is a cause for celebration. When I save a turtle, it just means a lot. It's, I feel like I'm helping. But it's not just turtles, it's everything. The ocean itself and, every, and its creatures, it's wonderful to me. And I die for that place. <laughs> the team has been working tirelessly for days. They've saved 25 turtles so far. Many are malnourished and weak. The team will nurse them back to health. The turtles that only need to gain weight are brought to the sea aquarium to recuperate. Great job, everybody. All right. The ones that are sick are taken to veterinarian Odette Dust. These turtles have tumors on their eyes and bodies. This is the slechtste. Weet je, dus als ik dit opereer en weghaal, leuk, maar hij gaat hier niet echt doorzien. The sick animals are in the best of hands with Odette. No one knows that better than Bob, a very special flamingo, a celebrity not just in Curaçao, but all over the world. Odette and Bob are inseparable. The local vet came to the bird's rescue when he slammed against a hotel window and plummeted to the ground, badly injured. They posted it and within 10 minutes I was in front of them like, hi, I'm here for the flamingo, and they were like... <gasps> Bob can no longer unfurl his left wing, and his feet are stiff. He can't be released into the wild. So now, 
he lives with Odette. When they asked me his name, I was like, oh, his name is Flamingo Bob. Does he look like a Bob? You know? The funny thing is, um, the name Bob means like flamant, uh, to be well known. And now he's famous. <laughs> Nomen is omen, right? <laughs> right? Today is Thursday. Hi. And on Thursdays, Bob ventures out on his weekly mission as a poster bird for wildlife conservation. So this bag is especially for him not to uh, get hurt. Fine. Yay! Today's destination is an elementary school. Bob is in the passenger seat. They're an unusual couple. And then I thought the best I could do is like when I'm a bird doctor, I have had the reaction like, oh, is he real? So they think I just run around with a fake flamingo next to me, which is also fine. For Odette, this moment is the highlight of the day. campaigning for wildlife conservation with an educational flamingo. After initial hesitation, the children warm up to Bob. Some kids are even shyer than Bob, who's had his fair share of experience with humans. Odette spent months preparing him for social contact like this. The children have never before had such a close encounter with a flamingo. Bob is the hook for a discussion on how to value and respect nature. Even a child's discarded kite can become a death trap for flamingos and other animals. Odette tells the kids how easy it is for birds and animals to get tangled and trapped in waste that hasn't been disposed of properly. Bob is effective and soft to the touch. The message hits home. If they die, then that's just not okay. For Odette, it's responses like these that are the payoff for her work with Bob. When you have that reaction, then you have the gateway to their heart. With their young, spunky minds, they will question their parents, their friends. What are we doing? Why are we doing what we do? Odette is referring directly to the rubbish in Curaçao's bays. She often has to surgically remove waste from the guts of animals that ingest it. It's not as if she wouldn't have enough work without her rescue patients. Odette began saving wild birds as a child. This flamingo, called Odie, is a year old. She was gravely ill when Odette found her in a pool. For months, she's been helping the bird back on its feet. Bob has taken Odie under his wing, so she doesn't forget where she came from, because soon she'll be released back into the wild. They need to not be tame. Rehab, rehab is not cuddling. Rehab is wild animals that are hurt. You help them and you put them back as soon as you can. Odette currently has 45 sick wild animals in her care. She needs medications, cages and 80 kilos of food per week. Her work is dependent on donations and takes time. There are days when she nearly falls asleep on her feet. Do you ever stop working? No. Um, yeah, when I sleep. <laughs> Will their efforts pay off? There's an air of excitement at the sea aquarium this morning. Julieta fetches the turtle that she rescued from the thicket of sargassum seaweed more than a month ago. Dozens of volunteers are here. They help weigh, measure and mark the turtles so they can be identified in case they are spotted again. These turtles are going to be released today. They're so much better now, so it's time for them to go. The turtles are just a few kilometers from their natural habitat. 
the activist's convoy attracts a lot of attention. There's actually police, as I see. There's someone, like, at the front. This is crazy. It means that more and more people are going to realize what we're doing, are going to notice us. And hopefully more good things will come out of this. Woo! The surf is rough, but the water is crystal clear. Thirteen turtles are being released into the ocean. I'm very, very excited, actually. The hope is that they'll paddle off and not turn back around. The time has come. Success! Odette is also releasing some recuperated patients back into the wild today. She's invited some neighborhood children and tourists to watch. For 18 years, Odette has been bringing locals and animals together. Now it's Bob who's touching the hearts and minds of visitors to her sanctuary. He stays home when it's time for Odie to begin her journey back to freedom. Although it's a joyous occasion, there's always concern that the bird may not be accepted back into its flock. Is she still wild enough? I hope the bird flies away, find his home and find his other siblings. <laughs> Maintain a distance, let go, and... Yes, bye-bye, Odie. The flamingo takes off and unites with her flock. It's a moment to savour. Conservationists know that they can't stop climate change on their own, but their passion and commitment demonstrates that by respecting and protecting nature, every individual can make a difference. <laughs>